Hello everyone and welcome to today's session. My name is Macarena Rojas and I work as Senior Recruitment Officer at the College of Engineering and Computer Science at the Australian National University. In this session, I'll be talking about the College of Engineering and Computer Science, or KEX, undergraduate and postgraduate courses in offer for 2021. I'll expand on some of our new programs, talk a little bit about flexible double degrees and other exciting things our college has to offer, such as new scholarships or facilities, opportunities for students to use their skills as research projects and startups, as well as career outcomes from our degrees. We will start by taking a look at our undergraduate engineering programs. At Kix, we focus on an interdisciplinary understanding of engineering called systems engineering. This is what you are seeing in the slide. This approach will prepare students to design, to analyze, and to manage the complex systems that are prevalent in our society, for example, a mobile phone or a plane. And this approach is included in all of our courses. Our two flagship programs are the Bachelor of Engineering Honours and the Bachelor of Engineer Research and Development. The first year and a half are structured to deliver core engineering modules and then students will choose an engineer major to specialize in. We will look at the majors and details in a few moments. In regards to prerequisites for these programs, it is important to have done mathematical methods, ACT, and for New South Wales, mathematics. It is also strongly recommended to have done physics. We encourage students to do as much math as they can as it underpins much of what is done in engineering and computer science, and in the case of engineering, relates strongly to physics. So the Bachelor of Engineering Research and Development differs from the Bachelor of Engineer Honours in terms of how research projects are integrated into the degree. For the R&D degree, students will work on specialized projects under the supervision of ANU academics and can be undertaken with any of the research groups at the College of Engineering and Computer Science. If students are interested in a career in research, maybe progress to a PhD or interested in a research-focused industry, the R&D degree will be very suitable. Students can transfer into the R&D program from the standard bachelor degree after maintaining a high distinction average in the first year. R&D degrees are also available for computer science degrees, which we'll be looking at now. At X, computer science students are given an in-depth understanding of programming and software development, alongside specialized knowledge in areas such as cybersecurity, AI, and intelligent systems. All classes are taught in a way that supports students who do not have prior knowledge or experience with computing. This is to ensure that all students, experienced or otherwise, learn at the same pace. A very common question we receive at KEX is about the differences between our programs. The Bachelor of Advanced Computing Honours and the Bachelor of Advanced Computing R&D are designed for high achieving students interested in becoming leaders of the information and communication revolution and graduates normally secure positions in tech industries, software startup companies and R&D computing companies. Our Bachelor of IT will give students a strong grounding in computing fundamentals to tackle the progressive nature of IT and a Bachelor of Engineering, a Bachelor of Software Engineering goes in depth in the technicalities of software development and how it relates to systems engineering. A program that has been very popular due to market demand is the Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics. This multidisciplinary bachelor degree comprises computer science, statistics and social science courses. Graduates from the Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics will be positioned to work as policy analysts, data analysts or data scientists. This degree can also be combined as a flexible double degree, like in the case of Amy, who is currently studying a Bachelor of Applied Data Analytics and a Bachelor of Commerce, a great combination for those looking to secure positions in government or in the public sector. This comment is actually a great segue to discuss our flexible double degrees in engineering and advanced computing. By choosing this option, you can combine two bachelor degrees for which you meet the published selection rank. For more information on the different combinations, please visit the website provided on the slides. So now we will discuss our engineering computer science majors and specializations. Engineering specializations provide expertise in a particular engineering discipline. Our college offers the following majors, biomedical systems, electronic and communication systems, photonic, renewable energy. But one important thing to mention in this regard is the four course minor in humanitarian engineering. ANU has been one of the leaders of humanitarian education in Australia by being the first university to offer a dedicated humanitarian elective. This minor helps students to work effectively in complex cross-disciplinary contexts to achieve a positive change. In regards to our computer science visualizations, for students in the Bachelor of Advanced Computer R&D, we offer intelligent systems, for example, AI or optimization systems and architecture, operating systems and networks, and theoretical computer science that focuses on the mathematical aspects of computing. In regards to the Bachelor of Advanced um, Information Technology, 
We offer specializations in data science, information systems, software development, and cybersecurity. Please note that our programs are professionally accredited by Engineers Australia and the Australian Computing Society, and we have included a table to demonstrate which degrees are accredited. Now I will take a look at our postgraduate engineering and computer science programs. KEX has a wide range of postgraduate degrees to suit different interests, with a focus on digital systems and telecommunication, electri electrical engineering, photonics, mechatronics, and renewable energy. Please note that in order to secure entry into these programs, cognitive disciplines are required. For more information, please visit the link provided in the slides. In regards to computer science postgraduate degrees, most of them are two years full-time, except for a graduate diploma of computing, which takes one year to complete. So why engineering computing at ANU? So at the College of Engineering and Computer Science, you will really have the opportunity to engage with world-class academics, undertake groundbreaking research, and join one of the most vibrant student cohorts. So we're ranked 18th in the world in, um, for automation and control. We're home to GADI and we're ranked um, top 100 in the world for engineering and um, technology. This year, our college is promoting a new scholarship called the King Jackson Scholarship for Female Engineers. Named after ANU engineering alumna and tech investor King Jackson, this scholarship will change the life of a new female identifying student from a rural area and it's valued at 20K per annum for each year of an ANU undergraduate engineering degree. A degree at KEX not only will give students in-depth knowledge in engineering and computer science, it will also provide a wide range of real-world experience that will prepare them for the future, whether it's in government, private sector, or academia. Students will learn from world-class academics and apply this knowledge in projects such as Tech Launcher, which allows computer science students to build strong connections with industry, which often leads to job opportunities. And for engineering students, they will be able to participate in capstone projects, which are intensive courses done at the end of the degree, focuses, focuses on turning an idea into a reality. For example, we have students working with a Canberra-based NGO in projects to improve the quality of clay water filters or students working in apps to reduce the environmental impact of paper post-its by replacing them with digital posters enabled with augmented reality technology. So as you can see, the possibilities are really endless. Another highlight is the ANU Makerspace, an initiative by the Research School of Physics and Engineering, in which students can have access to an assortment of tools, equipment, and resources available for users to build and make many things. From hand power tools, 3D printers, and more, space allows people to experiment, to investigate, to prototype, and to solve problems. Students can also have access to Square One, a dedicated space to develop their startups and other innovative projects. This space aims to connect entrepreneurial students to innovative networks and initiatives at ANU and around the Canberra region. Now, so as students at KEX not only will receive world-class education, they will, will also be part of a vibrant student community filled with fun and exciting opportunities to meet new people and to join some of our amazing student-led organizations. From career fairs to social events, outreach activities and mentorships, there's never a dull moment at KEX. For those interested in coding and robotics, you can join Code Like a Girl or RoboGals. Or for those interested in engineering, you can join Engineers Without Borders or even launch rockets with a new rocketry. Now, in regards to facilities, students will be able to access GADI, Australia's most powerful supercomputer, the Big Dish, the largest parabolic dish solar concentrator, and will also host the ASD ANU CoLab in the Hannah Newman Building. The CoLab is a collaboration between the Australia Signals Directorate and the Australian National University. This partnership will provide a collaborative research environment and students will be able to participate in workshops, guest lectures and research programs. As of career outcomes from our degrees, there's many possibilities. A degree at KEX will prepare you to work in government, in the private sector, academia, and our graduates go on to do great things. For example, Kim Jackson, tech investor and principal of Skip Capital, is an ANU engineering alumna, or Ben Greenwood, product manager at Google's Sydney office an ANU software engineering alum, and that's just a few. If you want to know more about our alumni network, visit the link provided in the slides. Now finally, something that is very unique to our college and that underpins everything that we do at KEX is the reimagined investment. This 350 million investment aims to attract the best and the brightest problem finders and develop the people who will find the right kinds of problems, the solving of which are truly transformational. For this purpose, over the next five years, our college will focus on a strong community, transformative educational experience, high impact research, and meaningful engagement and world-class infrastructure. 
If you would like to know more about the reimagined investment and what we're doing to achieve those goals, please visit our website. Finally, I just wanted to thank you so much for listening to this presentation. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, my contact details are in the slide and I'll be waiting. Um, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.